Yo, what up, YouTube? So, here I have another, what would you call this? Trade secret? No. Convenient package. <laughs> so last time I did the video on the my trailer, how I set it up. This is my newest invention. Yes, my invention. I'm sure other people have better setup, but I have not seen anybody with this setup personally. I'm sure people have it, but I just haven't seen it. But I like to share it with everyone on YouTube and hopefully it will help you consolidate at the track as well. So at the track, I, I, I get really tired of loading and unloading stuff from the trailer. You, you kind of get lost in that bin after bin up and down and then you kind of don't need this. You, need that and then you forget this and you you know it's, it's, it's just kind of hectic so i got this tool cart from harbor freight for 79 dollars with the little side tray another 20 bucks so under a hundred dollars you i've consolidated everything that i need for the track when i'm at the pits Yes, there's other items, I'm sure, but like, you know, like gas can. But for all the little miscellaneous crap, it's all in here. So let's go through it. And I think it would, it, it just helps you consolidate all your crap, basically. Um, here you have the front and rear bike stands, right? You have the helmet fan to dry your helmet. A little water sprayer for a cheap man AC. You have a little tray I added on the side. Oh, I added these hooks right here to hold the extension cord and the bike stand. And the tray right there holds all the cans perfectly. So you have that. This thing rolls around smoothly. It's got two decks for trays. On the bottom one, I have my big fan to blow at myself with, boots, and tire warmers. That kind of much stuffs the bottom le level. In the middle, I have another back protector, all the adapters for different outlets this one I use the most at the track it's a 30 amp to 215 dongle for the tire warmer you want to run a specific line dedicated line basically so you have less chance of blowing out the tripping the breaker sometimes you trip the breaker and you don't even know and you think your tires are warm ah, not good <laughs> That's happened before. It was, it was kind of scary. I added, so I did some modification to this cart as well, right? We, this is a must. These things are so cool. They're magnetic paper towel holder. So you can move this paper towel to any location on this cart. It's, it's like genius. Let me show you. Open it up. up here Ta -da. done I need two hands so I added this little side table that we have extra room on the side so yeah these are the two stands I already talked about inside First thing I did is add a power strip with a whole bunch of USB connections on it. We just plug it in somewhere in the back with another extension cord. Um, yeah, you can. So now and day, you, you need a lot of USB so for your phone, GoPro, my suit needs one, um, lights, everything needs USB ports. So you have that right there. Uh, yeah, that's the paper towel holder. So I put some screwdriver, all the very, very basic stuff in here. Um, 
GoPro, gloves, a battery bank in the back, zip ties, uh, extra handlebar, clip on, and tire pressure gauge. Only one that's worth using. Uh, all the other ones are crap. I added a magnetic strip on the side so when you're working, you can just throw shit up against this. And as for tools, I um, only brought what's absolutely essential. So you don't have to carry like a huge toolbox. I have just enough large sockets for the front and rear wheel and a brake caliper. Uh, 12 millimeter for that one. Uh, some Allen wrenches, one ratchet, one impact, tire inflator, dead blow, some, these, these, uh, these Allen's are great. I love them. Um, this is for the chain slack tool and see if the chain straight. So I have two torque wrenches in the rear with a breaker bar as well. So a uh, little nuts and bolts. So these guys like 10 bucks. So basically I need these tools to change tires and um, small jobs. You can't really do much else and I don't wanna do much else at the track. I just want to ride or be sitting there relaxing. It sucks up all your energy basically. <laughs> that 20 minutes is a pretty long session. Uh, so yeah, for a uh, hundred bucks, I, I think you really can't go wrong with this. Honestly, it's, I hang my suit in the rear. that and uh, it pretty much just turns have you seen those like helmet holder things that people have like $300 all it does is hold their helmet and their gloves so it's, it's kind of like that but so much more let me grab a helmet really fast All right, bam. Um, if you have any other, oh, I recommend getting these uh, Woodcraft bike stands over the Pitbull ones. They're just lighter and with the adjustable leg. And I think they're easier to use than the Pitbull. The Pitbulls are really strong, heavy, cumbersome. But hey, I mean, they, they they both are really good, but I personally prefer the Woodcraft a little bit more. Um, yeah, if you guys have any other suggestions that I, how I can improve this thing, uh, let me know. But other than that, it, it's just a really good tool to consolidate all your essentials. And I'm sure you guys could figure out what you want in your top, middle, drawer and the bottom layers to fit however you want but these are what I think is essential for me I also put a magnet on here so I could just put my phone on the top <laughs> yeah so this thing right here it, it is uh, what I think is perfect for your track day.